Hello. It's going good. Yeah, it was it was good. We still got a lot of room to improve. We, we left some yards and points out there, but um, it's a good start. How different the first four weeks of life? Did this maybe mean this game? Yeah. Um, anytime you get a win, it, it means a lot. Uh, in this league, it's hard to win. So uh, we're going to enjoy this one. Come back tomorrow. Focus on being 1-0 next week. Yeah, Zach called a great play. You know, saw something at halftime that we really liked, and so that's that's credit to him. I don't know. It was open, so I threw it. <laughs> the the, red, the first red zone, you're able to kind of move out of the way. Yeah. Of the guy. How big was that for your confidence today? And that okay, now you can do that today. Yeah, that was that was big, big for for that exact reason. Like you said, it's uh. Haven't, something I haven't been able to do for the last couple of weeks. So when, when your quarterback can't do that, can't steal first downs, can't extend the play a little bit to, to find some guys, it's, it's tough to move the ball. So um, it felt good today. I'm going to continue to, to get healthier, so I'm excited about that. In a, in a weird way, the one big sack you took, was kind of was that kind of the same thing? Because you were able to avoid a couple of guys before you took the big hit. Was that another thing where the confidence grew after that, even though it wasn't what you would desire? Yeah, there, there were several plays at the beginning of the game that – uh, I was kind of testing it out, and it felt felt really good, and that kind of led to to some of the runs in the in the second half. Was that, I was asked about that moment. You you scrambled for the one, you dropped the ball with confidence. I mean, we, that's sort of a, a, a pretty confident moment. Was that did that feel like a big deal to you? That that particular play, that wide back with that? It did. It did. Was there any one play when you said? Uh, it was the first touchdown. First touchdown, I was able to slide right, you know, plant my leg, throw back across my body. Um, after that, I felt like I was I was pretty good. Obviously, um, there's been a lot of moments that I thought I was good, and it turned out not. So I just got to continue to keep getting healthier, keep working on it, keep working on my body. It'll, it'll be good. How was that? Was that just a, was that just a mental thing? Just were you able to play as well as you did today? Just have that mental confidence that it's going to be okay if I do the things I normally do. How much of that, like, was getting that and once you felt? Yeah, it was, you know, it was a lot of different things. You know, I, I played I played okay. You know, Jamar played great, as he always does. O-line played really well. Um, it was a combination of all the things. You know, you asked this a million times to go back here. Uh, about the bar, buddy, Jamar. Uh, what can you say about him today in the practice that he came in and just kind of what we get to take back the right direction? Yeah, he's obviously one of the best in the league. So, uh, going to continue to feed him. You know, we're going to find ways to move him around so teams can't take him away. We're going to continue to get better at that. Um, and he's going to continue to do what he does. Yeah. The deep ball, how much does that mean just to see that happen again? Because he's, he's obviously said he wants to see it happen more often to finally break through on that one. Yeah, we were able to, to connect on that one. And then uh, we got to continue to connect on those. One means nothing if, the, if we go over 12 in the next one. So we're just going to continue to get better. Joe, how much of Joe Murray said that he talked, he's going, he's going back to make the answer. He said he talked to you, I think, in Miami a while ago. Yeah. Do you remember what that conversation was like? Or was yeah, we just talked about the process. Um, you know, I've been through it, so I gave him some insight. Um, he's a great guy. He's happy to, to talk with him. He's going to come back better than ever. Yeah, when you know, as professional football players, you know, it's whenever you're not out there with your guys, it's always really tough. Um, but at the same time, you know, you got to think about your body and you got to think about your career and you got to think about what's best for the organization. So if you're not ready, you can't come back. Um, it's always tough. You know, I've been there, but uh, it is what it is. Part of this profession. How big of a deal, Joe, is it today to play complimentary football where obviously the offense played very well, but early on the defense played well, and then later generate a couple of turnovers, something you guys have been needing the first four weeks. How big of a deal is that? Yeah, that's, you're not going to, it doesn't matter how well you play on offense. If your defense doesn't play well, you're not going to win. So when we have a, a defense like that, it makes our jobs easier. Um, we're going to continue to play complimentary football, like you said. Considering your improving health, Joe, considering your improving health and improving team one of backs against the wall kind of game. Yeah, this kind of feels like uh, last year in New Orleans a little bit. So um, it means nothing, like like I said earlier, it means nothing if we don't go out there and, and build on it and continue to get better. Um, so we're going to celebrate it tonight and come back come back to work tomorrow. Did it feel like that kind of game like New Orleans last year, like going into it?
into it? Did you have that same feeling? Um, I knew we had to win it. Uh, we had to win in New Orleans last year too, so uh, similar feeling. How close to 100 percent are you? Well, it felt really good today. Um, I'm going to continue to to test it out in practice. Going to see where I'm at um, on Tuesday. You know, usually day after game, two days after the game is a little sore. So we'll we'll see how it feels the next couple of days. We're going to continue to to get healthier. Where do you put this game on the? You know, you get the you know you get the Jamal barometer. If you guys play the other swarm, where do you put this on the Jamal barometer? As far as what do you see? He was great today. He was great. Um, we, like I said earlier, though, we left we left points out there all all around. We 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 have so much room to improve still. Man, he was great. He was great today. He's, you know, we have so much depth at all all positions across the team that um, I feel really good about. And so when you have a guy like Trenton and Andre come in, when a guy like T goes down and come in and play the way that they did, uh, it makes your job as a quarterback way easier because you know. Whatever the defense shows, you're going to be able to spread the ball around uh, and get it to the guy that you think is open. You feel like you guys some yeah, it wasn't. That, by no means was it perfect. It was. It was hard. You know, that's a that's a good defense. They were moving the ball well on offense at times, um, and so we had points in that game where we had to come up big, and, and we did. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, we they were doing a great job at the goal line of, of stopping the run. And so we, we called a little play action and um, had to buy some time. And that's the kind of play that you don't get if your quarterback is immobile and can't slide and, and make make that extra second count. And that's what we were able to do. Just kind of a big reaction after that one. I know it's a touchdown, a big touchdown in the game, but did it feel like more that particular moment moving as excited as you were after the touchdown? Yeah, it was something I haven't been able to do the last couple of weeks. So, um getting back back healthier and it's exciting thanks guys <laughs> this was all free this the the sweatshirt was made by my friend micah um that i went to high school with and the shoes are from uh, my friend scott as most people know of Kid Cudi, so. You're aware people think that you're spending millions of dollars on these clothes and these friends. Yeah, my friend made, I, all my friends put this outfit together for me, so I got great friends. Thanks, guys. <laughs>